Many Republican candidates spent the holiday in the first primary state of New Hampshire. And this comes as President Biden is on the road in Pennsylvania. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest. President Joe Biden at an official White House event in Philadelphia on Labor Day, sounding at times like he was at a re-election campaign rally. The 80-year-old addressing concerns about his age without even being asked. The only thing that comes today is a little bit of wisdom. Biden also highlighting economic gains under his watch, including more than 13 million jobs he's created and contrasting his record with that of former President Donald Trump without ever naming him. When the last guy was here, you were shipping jobs to China. Despite his four criminal indictments, new Wall Street Journal polling finds 59% of Republican voters backing Trump in his third White House bid. Meantime, secretaries of state in a number of states, including New Hampshire, Maine, Arizona, and Michigan, say they have started to take steps to prepare for challenges to Trump appearing on the ballot due to Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which renders an elected official ineligible to hold public office if they've engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. Other Republican candidates are meeting voters face to face in New Hampshire as Trump remains notably absent. I'm standing here because I believe different times call for different leadership. Hey guys, good to see you guys. 38 year old entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy seeing a boost after his first Republican debate appearance, where he held firm on his pledge to pardon Trump if he's elected and vote for him if he's the nominee. Meanwhile, the Washington Post reports the bipartisan political group No Labels is holding voter focus groups aimed at fielding a third party unity presidential ticket. A No Labels senior advisor saying the end game isn't necessarily a ticket, but a voice for the common sense majority. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.